Do you plan on seeding your lawn this spring? It could be a bit tricky, I'm not gonna lie. And if you're not careful about a few things, things can go downhill real fast. But the good news is it's definitely possible with the right knowledge going into the project. So in this video, I'm gonna go over three important steps that will help your project be successful. If you're just starting off your lawn care journey, you're probably thinking about seeding or overseeding your lawn this spring. But there's a few things to know right before jumping in. Spring is not the best time to seed because there's a bunch of factors that can have a negative impact on the grass's growth. And if you could hold off until the fall, I could pretty much guarantee you you're gonna have much better results. But with that being said, we're lawn care nuts and we like to push the limits. So today I'm gonna be throwing down some seed and I'm gonna show you a few things that'll help you through your process. One of the things that makes seeding in the spring tough is the immediate summer months that come afterwards. But there's one thing that we could do right now to help our seedlings get a jump start on the summer months. And what we want to do is ensure that they have deep roots. And how we do that is we start our spring seeding project as early as possible. So right now, we're in Chicago, the temperatures are about 50 degrees. The best temperatures to grow grass are between like 50 and 60 degrees. So as long as we get that seed down now and we don't wait any longer, that's gonna have the highest success rate of our seed surviving through the summer. So if you're planning on a seeding project and the temperatures are around 50 degrees where you live, I suggest that you start that project ASAP and don't wait any longer. So now that we know that fast germination is important for spring seeding, there's a little bit of a head start we can give with what kind of grass type we use. So over here I have some perennial ryegrass. This is gonna be some of the fastest germinating cool season grass on the market. I've seeded perennial ryegrass and I kid you not, it sprouted in like two to three days. So that's gonna be an awesome choice to use during the springtime to ensure that there is some root structure going on before those summertime temperatures hit. Me personally, I'm gonna be using the absolute worst type of grass seed to use for spring seeding. Kentucky bluegrass. I have some midnight KBG there from Seed Superstore. Awesome seed, but the only problem is the germination takes about 21 days. So I'm really gonna have to stay on top of it if I wanna see success. But as for any of you other guys, you guys are gonna have the best success rates if you use a grass type such as perennial ryegrass or tall fescue that germinate fast so you could establish those roots. But before we seed, we wanna make sure that we set clear expectations because Oh God, I'm starting to sound like my boss right now. There is a chance that some of your grass won't make it through the summer. So just know that going in. But with that being said, it's not impossible. So let's do it. All right, so now that I put down my seed, I'm gonna throw down some peat moss. You remember earlier we were talking about how it's important for it to germinate fast so we can get those deep roots before summer? Peat moss is what's gonna give us the best success when it comes to germinating fast because it's gonna retain moisture that's gonna feed the seed that's ultimately gonna lead for it to pop up. If you guys don't know what peat moss is, it's pretty much decaying matter that's found around the world like in swamps and marshes and things like that. And it holds moisture really well. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that and then uh, we'll water it in. All right, aside from the summer heat, we also have to worry about the weed pressure because it's springtime right now, pollen's flying everywhere, and the weeds are out of control. I see weeds in my lawn, my neighbor's lawn, across the street, they're everywhere. So we have to be smart with how we control them. And we're gonna wanna make sure that we use a product that allows grass seed to grow, but will still prevent and kill weeds. And there's only one herbicide that I know of that does that. It's called mesotrione, AKA Tenacity. 
I've used it many times. I'm gonna use it in granular form right now. This stuff is awesome. I actually like using it more than tenacity for seeding because for some reason when I apply this, I see more weeds turn white and actually die. So we're gonna apply this to the lawn. The rate for this stuff is four pounds per thousand square feet. My plot down there is just over 250 square feet. So I'm gonna apply one pound per 250 square feet of this. But any of you guys that already seed and you have seed sprouting, do not apply this or tenacity. The only time that you wanna apply it is when you throw the seed down and you water it in. Once it sprouts, it's a no-go. Also, don't use traditional pre-emergents such as like perdiamine or dithiapine or some of the most common types of ones are the Scott's Halts and the Blue Bag. Those type of pre-emergents will not only stop the weeds from growing, but they'll also prevent grass seed from growing. If you've already applied one of these products, the label rates usually say to wait about 90 days. So if you were planning on seeding the spring but use one of them, just sit it out this season and then once the fall gets here, you could throw down your seed. All right, guys, my third and final tip is to make sure you water, 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 especially once those summer temperatures get here. You're going to want to water your lawn at least two to three times per day and get down at least a half an inch between those days. But one thing I could tell you is make sure you keep an eye on your lawn. Just because you have your irrigation timer set or you're out there watering two to three times a day, make sure you keep an eye on the grass because even if you're doing your due diligence and watering, you know, at the scheduled time, Sometimes the grass plants could dry out and they could die and then there goes your whole project. So general rule of thumb, two to three times a day, at least a half an inch every two to three days, if not more, keep an eye on it. As soon as you see that it's struggling or it's starting to dry up, make sure you go out there and you water it again. You're just going to have to keep it moist because as soon as those 100 degree days come, you're going to need to keep it hydrated. Otherwise, it's just going to wither away and die and you definitely don't want that. Not only do you want to water it in the springtime, you also want to water it in the summertime and the next summer because even though it's less than a year old it's still developing so try to keep it out of summer dormancy the following year as well but hey if this is your first time to my channel my name is george and i'm obsessed with my lawn thank you so much for stopping by if you found any value in this content hit that like button and with that this is george from princess cup peace